Hi guys! Are you tired of adding glue on the build plate of the Bamboo Lab X1, X1 Carbon or even on the new P1P 3D printers every time you want to print something? Then you need to check this alternative solution. You want to know more? Then stay tuned! Hi guys, welcome back! My name is Rui and this is the Rui Raptor YouTube channel. If you want to help us out, you can by giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also help by joining our Patreon page or by clicking on any of the affiliate links posted below in the video description. So, in this video we have the new Wham Bam build plate for the Bamboo Lab X1, X1 Carbon and P1P 3D printers. It's available on their website and it currently costs around 54 US dollars. When you order the build plate, this is what you get. Together with the build plate, there are a couple of Wham Bam stickers, a strip with five code stickers, a card and the instructions. And this is the build plate. It's exactly the same size as the original one and it's made of flexible steel with pre-installed PAX build surface on the top side. At the front edge, it also has the two tabs, and at the back edge, the one for the nozzle preparation. On the left tab, there's a small square engraved. This is where we need to glue one of these code stickers. So, let's check the instructions to prepare the build plate for its first print. And step number one is to remove the protective film. Ok, done. Next is to prepare the surface by cleaning it with a fine Scotch-Brite and alcohol. Since we want to test the build plate performance, let's skip this one and see what happens. Third step is to glue the coat sticker on the left tab. Ok, that one is done as well. And the plate is now ready so let's install it. The plate can be used with the X1 series and also with the new P1P. Ok, before starting the print, we first need to know the ideal conditions. So, going back to the instructions, there's a suggested temperature table and this is what we will use. On printables, there's also a set of files that can be used with the Wham Bam build plate. These files contain custom start and end G codes with a few improvements to use them is very simple. Just click on the small icon next to the printer profile and enter the machine G-code. Delete the existing star and end G-codes and copy the new ones in there. Next, save the printer profile with a different name, and that's it. We can now start the print. We will run a test print without any glue or anything else on the build plate. One of the changes of the new start G-code is the purge line. It does a smaller line on the right side of the plate. The print seems to stick very well with the build plate at 60 degrees C. Once the print was finished, we first let it cool down and try to take the print afterwards. And it came out so easy. We didn't even need to remove the build plate and flex it. We also couldn't see any marks from the print on the build plate. And this is how the bottom side of the print looks like. Perfect placement and a smooth mirror finish. The instructions say to wipe the plate with alcohol after every print, but to be honest, we ran a few prints without doing anything on the plate and if you remember, we didn't even did the initial cleaning and it's working perfectly so far. However, we do recommend to follow the instructions and make sure the build plate is clean before printing to guarantee a good adhesion. So, what do you guys think about this alternative for the Bamboo Lab X1 and P1P? Feel free to leave your comment here on the video. 
And that's it, you guys. Thanks for watching. We will see you guys next time. Bye.